Um, my first contact with programming was already in secondary school. There we had the possibility voluntary do some informatics. And there I made my first uh, lines in basic. And also my calculator was able to, to do some basic programming. And there I made some yeah, smaller games with, with numbers. So I liked first programming language uh, C and C++ that I learned in the HTL in the Higher Technical College. Uh, but I'm also very fascinated uh, how performant a code can be written if you're using assembly. Um, my background, I started uh, my first technical school. It's a higher technical uh, college in Salzburg. Afterwards, I went to Graz. There I studied electronics, uh, department for biomedical engineering. My first professional career was a research company uh, at the area of satellite navigation. Afterwards, I joined uh, a, a big semiconductor manufacturer. There I worked in the firmware department. Yes, and now I'm working uh, for Nuke as the firmware development lead. Uh, I like most about being a firmware lead that I always have to deal with new problems. It never gets boring. Yes, and I have great influence in, in the products we develop. Uh, nowadays, electronics is everywhere and we firmware developer bring life into this hardware. We are very close to the hardware and therefore we are mostly restricted compared to other languages to to low resources like RAM, flash or power. Therefore, we have to optimize a lot of and yes, we can take advantage of, of certain hardware. Um, my preferred technologies uh, often depends on the chip which I'm using. And at the moment I'm programming with C and with uh, Eclipse IDE. Uh, next to the already mentioned uh, task, I'm responsible for the overall architecture. Uh, I'm responsible for the code quality. And yes, uh, the specific challenges being a firmware lead is next to the great responsibilities in a technical manner. Uh, you all have to deal with soft skills since you're leading a team and have to deal with interhuman problems as well. I think for beginners, the, the best tip is uh, learning by doing. Uh, if you program a lot, then you get great experience. Of course, it helps if you have some introduction to understand basic concepts of programming. To become a firmware developer, um, every education uh, in the direction of programming is of course useful. But especially for firmware developer, um, it's good to know a little bit of hardware and get some hardware experience. An online course would be a, a cheap possibility. Uh, and then just try out some platforms like Arduino or uh, Raspberry Pi and make some small projects. I think it's important that you start with small, easy projects and don't get frustrated with too complex ones. I keep myself updated uh, by doing not only exercises in work, but also at home, uh, playing around with new stuff, doing some research in internet. And yeah, that's the way to do it.